M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. How about Vince? Meet Vince for right, the first go, time. What's that like? Let's go to Vince. So, the way in which I came to WWF was, and I feel terrible saying this because I feel like everyone's heard it before. So then it's just like, bitch, so tell why, it why are you tell it differently yourself? Anyway, so Dustin's on the road, and this is back in the day where, like, the boys were gone 18 days, sometimes 20. Mm -hmm. Not coming home to family. Right. So um, Dustin was on the road. I was downstairs in the basement. I had bought a tanning bed when I worked for Ted Turner um, for like three thousand dollars. Like when I left the company, mm -hmm. I bought that. So I'm downstairs tanning, and I'm just like, I don't know what made me think about like what is it that the WWF is missing. Like there, there's a hole there somewhere. What, like, what's what's the missing part? And so I just thought, like, Dustin's character was this old school actor. Remember at mm -hmm. the at the beginning, he's yeah. an actor and all this stuff. Yeah. And which I just found not plausible. Um. So this is maybe three months after Dustin signs with Vince to okay. do Goldust. And I came up with this idea to have this old school, very elegant, you know, old school um, actress. I, I, I would smoke a cigar because I smoke cigars in real life. So I thought, you know, great write off tax wise. <laughs> you get some free cigars. Nice. I was like, pretty smart. You know, um, so every single thing that there has been about Marlena was me. Everything that has been about Alexander York was not me, except okay. for her name. So, um, but, but anyway, so yeah, I, I just, I was in the tanning bed in our basement. Dakota's was like a year and a half old. And um, I just, I don't know why. I just started like reciting stories in my brain and, you know, they need this, they need this, they haven't done that, they haven't done that. And so I called Dustin, and I'm like, dude, like, this is my idea. What do you think of it? And, like, at, at the time, Dakota's like a year and a half old. I don't want to go on the road, but it was just something that compelled me to think about what they were missing. Mm -hmm. So um, I told it to Dustin on the phone. He was on the road, and he's like, I love it. I said, okay, call Vince and, like, let me know what happens. Well, Dustin was scared to fucking death to call anyone in any kind of hierarchy above him. He goes, no, no. If you want to do this, you're going to call Vince yourself. I was like, I don't have a problem calling Vince. I don't give two shits. Vince called. <laughs> Love the phone. Really All of a sudden, <laughs> Pat Patterson answers. Uh-oh. And I said, Pat... Um, it's Terry and, um, you know, I just came up with an idea that Dustin wanted me to express to Vince and Pat goes, thank you very, very much. We're not interested. <laughs> and clink. I'm like, really? Know? Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, cool with that. Cause I was like, it was just an idea that I'd had mm -hmm. it, like laying in the tanning bed, like. No big deal. N nothing. You know, I mean, but I was. Was happy. it honestly that quick? You know, when I yes. interrupt. Yes. Wow. wow. Yes. But I, I was happy surprised. being a mom, and I didn't need anything else. You know, so I was fine. I was done. That okay. was good. Whatever. 
And so then in, uh, what year? 95, um, I was at my grandparents' farm. You know, I'm wearing overalls. Dakota's wearing overalls. Like, Santa's coming tomorrow morning. Dad's not here, but Santa's coming and whatever. And all of a sudden, Dustin called me. He goes, what are you doing? And I said, I'm here at Granny and Granny's house. He goes, pack your bags. They want to do your idea. Which still to this day gives me chills because every single thing that you see about Marlena was here. Nobody else ever, it, I, as much as I love Pritchard, I swear to God, I, I heard one of his like seven hour podcasts on Dustin. He's like, yo, Vince created Marlena. Vince didn't create fuck all of Marlena. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. He might have created his own beautiful dick to someone else, but he didn't create Marlena to me. And I love Vince, and I always will because he's been good to me. But, um, yeah. So, did I just get nasty? I think I, I you got a little nasty. Yeah, a little wee. A That's little sorry. wee bit. That's yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. No. Anywho, go ahead. Next question. All right, so Vince, uh, well, was Vince pleased? Obviously, Vince was pleased. So here was my thing. When I went to the ring, I said to him, either I'm going to carry a glass of wine mm -hmm. or I'm going to carry a cigar. Mm. And he said, go with the cigar. But don't light it early. Light it right before you're at a gorilla. Wow. Nice. Nice. And then that motherfucker showed up on Cigar Aficionado. There you go. I'm like, bitch. You didn't want me to light the cigar until I, like, right before I went out on Gorilla, but yet now you're on, say what? Anyway. All of Vince's issues that he had recently, he's had great life, obviously. Yes. Were you, uh, were you surprised by that? Yes. yes. Really? Really? Mm. Okay. Mm. I'll tell you why. Um, he's always been very, um common sense, functional, like, not like, hey, right. Not like uh, Larry King. Not like, <laughs> thank gotcha. you. Very, very Nailed good, it. like, interlude into that conversation. Thank yeah. you. Um, but, like, like, he just has never done that to He's me. Never saw signs of it uh, no. in the locker and, room. And the weird, I'll give you another weird okay. scenario. Um, Jerry Lawler hornier and fucked up mm -hmm. more than anyone I know has never, ever made me feel uncomfortable mm. in his presence, mm -hmm. which blows my mind knowing that I know the way his mind works. Right, right, right. So, like, those, those are two great examples of mm -hmm. maybe other people see them this way. I just don't. You know, Vince has never harmed me. Mm -hmm. He's never made me feel like if you don't do this, you're out of a job. I mean, we all know that. We mm -hmm. all know that if you don't do this, right. you're out of a job. But it was not like a female thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. Was it true that he tried to change the Marlena character into a man? I think I read that somewhere. No. no. Okay. So... Oh, Lord, we're going down dangerous territory. So, what happened with the whole Brian Pillman storyline? Do you guys remember that or yeah, no? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so that was to culminate, not, not for the fact it was my birthday, but it was just to culminate on October 5th. And we were going to renew our vows in the ring. And, you know, the fans thought I had been with Brian for 30 days and you know when the preacher said is there anyone here that sees any reason for these two to not be joined in marriage let them speak now or forever hold their peace and then Brian was supposed to come out top Titan Tron and go I have a problem and then those two I'm in a gold wedding dress those two get into it and Brian gets color and then I fall on top of Brian and say to Dustin um, while I was away from you those 30 days 
I fell in love with him. I'm not in love with you anymore. I'm going to be with him. So I was going to go like way rogue, you know, bad girl. And Dustin was going to go way girl, <laughs> not. But I had just done an appearance with Luna, um, with Offa in Pennsylvania. First time I'd ever met Luna, right? And so it just hit me. We were in Vince's office in New York, and it just hit me. And I said to him, I said, Vince, well, let's flip this around. And instead of me being the heel, let's have Dustin be the heel with, with Luna. And, like, they hadn't even, like, even processed that. But I, I just, I loved her from the moment I met her. I just thought she was great, amazing, and whatever. So that's how that got flipped on its script so that Dustin and Luna, you know, went out to the ring and did all their, like, crazy shit. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, this happened after he was in that, uh, match in the 18-wheeler. Somebody help me remember who the guy was that he was 18 wrestling. 18-wheeler match? 18 oh, that was wheeler. one of the great matches of all time. That's I the know. one where you're supposed to wrestle Scott Hall. Was it and Stroke? Scott Hall refused no. to wrestle him because yeah. of the character, and they yeah. filled in with Roddy Piper. Right. No, no. This is an 18-wheeler. Oh, the 18-wheeler. Oh, yes. I don't remember no like, 18 this is Let me see if I can get help from him. goes to WWE. Hey, book up 18-wheeler. <laughs> no, Sorry, the guys. I'll ask Sorry. the fans. I wish Does anyone I, know the I match? I wish I remembered the year, but I don't. Oh, so you're talking WCW? Yes. Oh, he got okay. fired for this. Gotcha. He, he got color for this, and, okay. and Mike Graham was his agent okay. and told him to get color, and then he got fired for it. Okay. On, on March 17th, he got fired. I'll never forget it because it was... Um, Blacktop Bully. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. We, well done, Davio. Well done. Davio! Sir. To the rescue. And Phil. That's, of course, Phil. They at the same time. Very good. Very good, fellas. Thank you, folks. Okay. So what are you thinking? When did we get, how do we get to gold dust? And what's your reaction? I mean, um, it's so different from everything else you ever did. It's not even close. Yeah. So I remember going to the grocery store and getting milk for Dakota because she's older now. And the, the car didn't go through. Mm. And I was just like, oh, my God, I can't feed my child. Like, this is not good. Mm. And I called my mother, and I said, I need to borrow money. And um, she gave it to us. But then he went to New York, and everything was different. And, you know, they, they really were passionate about gold dust. And then, you know, I came up with my idea as well. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a crazy time. Here was the bad thing. Back in the day in WCW, um, we used to gig all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a great gig. Where's my Where's my ca camera? You gig yourself? Is that my camera? Wow, dude, can you zoom? He's like, no, I'm I'm eating a I'm eating a <coughs> chiquita oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> can you zoom on me, babe? Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Well, go on, get up. Y'all not educated. <laughs> go on, now zoom in, and the forehead, gigging. Gigging occurs in the forehead. Gig, 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 gig. <laughs> Giggity, gig, gig, gig. Wait, come here, come here. I want you to feel it before you said it. Okay. Come on, Abe. Get on camera, Abe. Little, get a little, little feel. Ladies and gentlemen, Abe's Abe, hand. Abe on camera. Abe's hand on camera. No, I'm not shaking it. Hold on. They're very salty hands, just really? so you know. Really? Hey. <laughs> you had these sushi? Fingers. Bend these fingers. <laughs> Abe, hey, what are you feeling there? You got divots? Right, Is there like divots there? Feel. What's the story? You feel, you feel it? Can you put a quarter in that? Oh, you have those too? Yeah, like a little, like a little divot. Abe, hey, you gig? Some motherfucker bitched the hell out of you too? No, I don't know. I don't remember us making Abe gig. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you're gigging at, a five, at he, five years old? He dude. gigs for Ed Monty and the Pharaoh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Anywho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so now that we've uh, pointed out the gigging. Yes. Okay, where were we? We're at, you know, God bless America. No, in WCW, you all used to gig. I'm trying so hard to keep this on course. 
<laughs> and guide so, her. We might as well. I mean, let's just finish what? the song. St stop being so loquacious. What are you <laughs> asking me? Stop being so vivacious. Dude. I think, when did you, I'm trying I think to be this question was... I'm trying to be true and it, honest, and then I have to bring in the sound guy to, like, touch my forehead. I, I yeah. What the yeah. Only here. Only yeah. here this yeah. happens. Damn it. Abe, go you're ahead. so much more than a producer. So how did, how did you. Dustin go to this gold dust? Like, how was he able to handle that? So this six foot five Texan right. yeah. just attached himself and said, this is weird as fuck. Yeah, it But was. I'm going to make the best of it. Wow. So oh, wow. and he, and he did, and the rest is history. Did so. you think it would work when you first? No, I I can no. see why. No, but especially when he went to the whole thing and saying to me, you know, I want I'm going to offer for them to give me breast implants. <laughs> I said, dude, you're not going <laughs> to offer that if I'm your wife. Yeah, thank you. That shit ain't happening. <laughs> Wait a minute. But, but let me ask. So coming from not being able to buy Dakota milk, to yeah. Who? To you guys, between the both of you working there, you, you guys got had twenty be, cows in the be, backyard now. You had to be making you want. You might have been yeah. making crazy money at that yeah. point, right? Yeah. No. No. So, wow. No. Bench. So, so at the time, um, I remember so vividly Pritchard saying to me backstage, "Listen, we like you as a part of him, but we don't want to hear from you. So just oh, be quiet." Get a load of this shit. All right. Wait, and in wait my he mind, says it just like that to you? Exactly like Holy that. Holy shit. And That's in my mind, I'm thinking, <laughs> well, my husband is not a great talker like his daddy. Right, right. So right. in my like heritage of this business, I am the mic, right? Mm, I, yeah. I agree with this, yep. Anywho. Yep. So yeah, it just it just blew my, like I will never forget that moment backstage when Pritchard said that to me. Like, we what just did you say? What did you say I said him? nothing. I honestly said nothing. Well, you were a good even soldier. Though, by the way, we're soldier. Even though I wanted to, I said nothing. You're a good soldier. But he's like, you know, shut the fuck up. Wow. We don't want you to say a word. Oh, just be quiet <laughs> and follow him around. Holy and that's, out of that like, brother. I don't know if you guys remember um, the Conan O'Brien uh, experience yeah. that we were on. Yes, no. Michael, you I, don't. I do not know. Can you help him? Conan O'Brien? No, I can't say I do either. I was, oh, but, oh, you but don't you either. If I actually remember Conan O'Brien, I thought that was triumphant enough that I remember him. Mm. Look it up. <laughs> well, Abe happened? Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Can you look up uh, <laughs> our appearance on um... Conan O'Brien? Conan O'Brien. Thank you, Conan. 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 He's no. What they happened dump, on they Conan? They dumped no so woman. much. Gold glitter on my eye at one point that when I got down to the last step, I was just like, I can't see. I don't know what's happening. It's crazy. You found it? Yo, look at how hard Abe is working. He is He's working weird. hard. He's doing I'm, overtime tonight. I'm going I'm, I'm to bump us up to something else. So you talked okay. about this before, but I, I just want your personal opinion on it. You on that plane ride by uh, from hell? Jimmy and I spoke about it. 